Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the High Gas V Studio. We've been discussing Miss Georgia O'Keefe, and we saw that her artwork began to change. She began to do abstract art using lines and shapes that seemed like they moved and somewhat danced together. She was one of the very first female abstract artists. Then we saw how she switched to doing flowers, especially up close. They were beautiful. And sometimes it was even hard to tell that it was a flower. Then we witnessed how her artwork began to change even more. She moved to New York City and from her hotel window, she could see the beautiful skyline. She did quite a few pieces of the skyline of New York City, the buildings even of the hotel that she lived in. So I thought today we would do a skyline, but to make it even more fun, I think we're going to do it at night meaning the picture is going to look like it is done at night. And I'm going to use pastel. Pastel is chalks. And I've got some really good colored chalks, colored pastels that we're going to use. Come on over to the art table and let's get started. Okay, so I mentioned we were going to use chalk pastels. So I've got my chalk pastels here. And what you're going to need is a piece of black paper, and it can just be some construction paper. Another piece of paper that's the same width, and it can be any color, it doesn't matter. A pencil, some scissors, and some tape. So what I've done is I've drawn out just the outline of a cityscape right here. And now I'm gonna cut it out. So once you get your cityscape cut out, I'm going to put it at the bottom of my paper. Now, I don't want it to move, so that's the reason I have the tape. So I am going to put a little piece of tape here and a little piece of tape here, and that will keep my city from sliding around on my black paper. So today I've decided with my chalk pastels, I'm going to use my fingers to smear the chalk. Now it's nighttime, but the sun is just set. So the sky that's closer to the horizon or the city is going to be real bright. But as it goes up, it's going to become darker and more purple. So I think getting started, I'm going to use my very lightest. In fact, I think I'm going to start with white. Here's some white right here. And I am going to hold my pattern down and I'm just going to scrub in some white chalk right here. About the height of that building. This is all going to be white here. And I'm using, this is keeping my buildings from getting chalk on them because they're going to be a silhouette or all black. Put that chalk there. That's going to be the lightest part because that's closest to where the sun is setting. Now I'm going to get yellow and I'm going to add a band of yellow and I'm going to take it right into the white just like that. As my sun is setting, it's going to become a little bit more orange. My sun sets, so I'm going to add some orange. And then I'm going to add purple because it's really getting to be the night sky. All right. Now, we are going to blend these colors in and we're going to use our fingers to do it. But do you see how it's made this dust? That's the thing with chalk. It makes dust. 
And so I want to encourage you not to do this when you're sitting out on the carpet or sitting in your bed because all this little dust bits are going to get everywhere. You really need to be sitting at a table so that you can clean up after yourself. So using our fingers, we're going to start blending these colors in. Look how pretty that looks. That you've lost some of your color you can always go back and add a little bit more if you want to a little more orange if you need it if you feel like you lost it I feel like I kind of lost my yellow so I may go back and add a little bit more yellow back in here And I've got several fingers, so I don't always have to use the same finger. I think I'm going to use a different finger so that I'm not mixing purple in with my yellow. Okay, now comes the fun part. I'm going to take my city, my skyline, off of my black paper. But first, I think I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Now my city has people that are working in it and so they're in the buildings so I think I'm going to add some windows with lights and the way to do this is just little dashes with your white and these are the windows but not everybody is working so we're going to have some windows that aren't lit. And then some people use different light bulbs. They're not white. They're going to be yellow. So I'm going to add some yellow lights to this one. want to you can even separate the buildings a little bit with your yellow or white chalk. I'm going to do it with white in case there's a little bit of light shining between these windows. I mean, excuse me, between these buildings. There might be just a little bit of light coming between them. And there is your night skyline.